Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about something that's been going around in the news lately regarding dinosaurs and snakes. Because apparently, there's been a new discovery made that actually asserts that all modern snakes that we know of today happen to be some sort of descendants of survivors from the Cretaceous period. Specifically, animals that coexisted with the last living dinosaurs that were all wiped out by that fateful asteroid over 65 million years ago. <laughs> So Jurassic World Dominion is going to be showing us a version of prehistoric Earth that is a little less realistic than what I think a lot of people would have expected, mainly due to the introduction of dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus Rex and Giganotosaurus coexisting with each other and actually engaging in combat, setting up what is more than likely going to be a pretty big plot point for the middle or climax of that film. But now, when it comes to real science, apparently there's been a lot of talk from paleontologists about snakes rather than dinosaurs lately, and those scientists had this to say, about their new findings. Research from the Milner Center for Evolution suggests that modern snakes would have evolved from a handful of ancestors that survived that asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. This study suggested that all living snakes evolved from a handful of species that survived the giant asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs and most other living things at the end of the Cretaceous period. The authors from the Milner Center for Evolution, the people that did this research, say that this devastating extinction event was a form of creative destruction that allowed snakes to diversify into new niches that were previously filled by their competitors, namely those dinosaurs. This research was published in something called Nature Communications, which shows that snakes today, including around like 4,000 living species, started to diversify around the time that an extraterrestrial impact wiped out all dinosaurs and most other species on planet Earth. This study was led by the University of Bath and included collaborators from Bristol, Cambridge, and Germany, and they used fossils and analyzed genetic differences between modern snakes to reconstruct this snake evolution. And this analysis helped us to pinpoint the time that modern snakes happened to evolve, which wound up being around the asteroid impact 66 million years ago. So right now, the reason the authors believe that the snakes were able to, you know, evolve and branch out all over the planet was due to their ability to actually shelter underground and go for long periods of time without food, which dinosaurs, of course, most dinosaurs anyway, probably couldn't do. Now, in the aftermath of the extinction from all of their competitors, Cretaceous snakes were able to actually move into new habitats and continents that they previously didn't have access to. The snakes then began to diversify, producing lineages like garter snakes, pythons, boas, vipers, cobras, and all kinds of other things, including a lot of modern snake diversity. Things like sea snakes and venomous vipers, cobras, those all emerged only after the dinosaur extinction. There's also evidence that shows that fossils had a change in the shape of snake vertebrae after the Cretaceous extinction event, which would include things like giant sea snakes up to 10 meters long. Dr. Catherine Klein of the study made a remark that, it's remarkable not only because they are surviving an extinction that wipes out so many other animals, but within a few million years, they are innovating using their habitats in new New ways. Now, the study also suggested that snakes began to spread across the globe around this time when all those dinosaurs died out. Although the ancestor of living snakes probably lived somewhere in the southern hemisphere, snakes first appear to have spread to Asia after the dinosaurs died. Dr. Nick Longrich was quoted saying, this seems to be a general feature of evolution. It's the periods immediately after major extinctions where we see evolution at its most wildly experimental and innovative. The destruction of biodiversity diversity makes room for new things to emerge and colonize new land masses. Ultimately, life becomes even more diverse than before, or as Ian Malcolm would put it, you could say it found a way. This study also found evidence for a second major diversification event around the time that the world shifted from what they call the greenhouse earth to the ice house climate, which saw the formation of polar ice caps, you know, the ice ages that everyone knows about. But yes, scientists now believe that the reason all modern snakes are so diversified and all over the earth today is because of that asteroid that took out the dinosaurs all those millions of years ago. Which is something that I find to be really interesting because dinosaurs, as we have been told throughout our entire you know lives, were really, really dominant on the planet before that extinction level event happened. So it is weird for me to look at this evidence and say, yeah, it looks like snakes just kind of moved in on the dinosaurs' territory after they all got wiped out. That doesn't mean that snakes were like 
taking over in the dinosaurs place after they all died but yeah they definitely took advantage of all those competitors getting wiped out in an instant now with all that new science stuff out of the way one of the animals that a lot of people have been trying to get into a jurassic world movie for some time now happens to be a titanoboa which if you didn't know was this massive snake that lived around a 10 million year time period immediately following the extinction of the dinosaurs now this creature has actually been a staple of jurassic park mobile games for the last few years and the image that i actually use in the thumbnail comes directly from promotional material for jurassic world alive People have wanted to pit this thing against something like a T-Rex or a Spinosaurus in what I'm sure would be a pretty awesome looking fight scene, but I personally don't know if that's ever going to be something in the cards for the creators of the films themselves. But with the Jurassic Park movies sort of opening up the door for things that are a little more fantastical in the realm of science, I do think something like that could be possible, especially in something set in the modern day with a cloned version of the snake appearing in a post-Fallen Kingdom world. All of this science could interest set up a pretty fun rivalry between animals like dinosaurs and snakes for a plot line like what Dominion is already using with its Giga V Rex story. Either way, I personally think all this information is really cool and could be something that both fans of the Jurassic Park movies and paleontology will enjoy learning about. But hey, those are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. Now, whatever yours happen to be regarding dinosaur versus snake stuff, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it really means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.